Hello, my name is Jennifer and welcome to RTC The Parenthood Years Part 17 and if you are returning, welcome back and we are a little later than where we left off last time. I just thought we would come in. I did do some research on how to enter full parent mode or whatever it is and I think you have to do the uh, parenting interactions really quickly and from what I can gather if you have them all sitting down and maybe writing in their journal and doing their homework things like that you can like praise them for good grades and then praise them for writing in their journal like boom 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 and that should be able so i think it's it's night and they're all sleeping so i think we will try doing that tomorrow and at the moment i just have andy doing some singing because she is still trying to work on maxing her singing skill and i can't recall if we had her so she's not on vacation and let me see whether i have the option for her to call Oh, I can now. Sometimes I don't get that option. So we're going to have her take a vacation day because I said that we we're going to use up her vacation. And before we... Oops. I'm going to go into cutaway mode. There. And this nanny keeps coming. I don't know that we actually hired her. And I see... Uh, there is... <sighs> some garbage here from Dimitri repairing that sink. I have him doing some cooking. Let me put that. Was that excellent? I can't tell. But we can tell this way. Because, well, maybe we can't. Because he had worked on this a little bit. I actually hadn't paid attention. I just thought I would have him cook a meal and try and just, you know, work on that one. He, that cooking aspiration just at the beginning. Not that we're going to have him become a cook. And he, of course, hasn't even reached the top of his career. He works in eight hours. But I think what we will do is we will uh, come back in the morning. I just wanted to sort of just briefly touch on what I had looked at when I researched it. And in between parts, Sarah actually maxed her movement skill. It's taking a minute there. So she only has thinking to work on now. And then both toddlers will have maxed their skills and we can age them up at any point once that's the case though we may keep them young for a teeny little bit longer just to work on you know we'll see whether we have any more luck with the manners and please and thank you before they become children but uh we'll be back in the morning well it's morning i have andy working on a sack lunch for nikki because of course arabella is taking the day off mason of course don't he's come out to the kitchen after he went to the bathroom to brush his teeth and now he's going back and forth i really wish they would use the sink closest to them and i have him making a sack lunch because i think that will contribute to his responsibility perhaps i think how that's how it works but uh, the reason mason is still here because i think i did say that i was going to have mason leave but when i read up on the full parent mode it seems like the more kids you have and the quicker things you do, the easier it is to get into that full parenthood mode. So I thought we would keep him here while we're trying to do that particular one just to get that part done. And of course, we can't actually complete that aspiration until, you know, Arabella becomes a young adult. Because I, if I remember correctly, let us look at Andy here. She has that aspiration up. Oh, she went to full parent mode. When did that happen? <laughs> I don't do anything to have her go into full parent mode. I never noticed it coming up. I guess we'll have to look for <laughs> Dimitri then. Because I didn't do anything that I remember happening. And I never got a pop-up. Anyways, where's her... So she's got morning sim. There's nothing here that looks like it's there. So it must have... I, I don't remember her... I mean, other than last time, I kept trying to get her to do a whole bunch of interactions. And it didn't seem to tick off. But uh, I have seen some people say that it just ticks off just like that. But anyways, so she has to have a child with three positive character value traits. And I assume, yes, upon aging up to young adult, they will get those traits. So we're a ways off on that one. So essentially, she has done as much as she can for that for now. And on the successful lineage, we... Oh, I didn't realize she hadn't... We can work on that one. We can help a child with homework three times and have a child earn an A in high school. That will be when, of course, Arabella gets up to that stage. And I was just, which will probably have Arabella's birthday actually really soon to a teen. 
because of the fact that she's obviously she's completed all of her childhood aspirations I was just trying to get this conflict resolution all the way up to the top because you can work on that with the parents when they're kids or younger but once she's a teen she can only do that um, by trying to help fix bad relationships which you know given it can go up and down and whatnot reconciling arguments and being apologetic. I find it a hard one to do once they're teens, so I want her to at least be at the top of that band when she is a child, but she's really close, so we will have Andy work with Arabella today because she's taking one more day off, uh, having her teach to say sorry, so hopefully that will get her up there. And uh, I suppose because but we should look at Dimitri. He works today, and I was just having him work on that one. But for now, for the on the food, the Master Chef aspiration, just you know, a little bit. Obviously, we're not planning on completing that, so he still needs to go into full parent mode. But I think that's something we will do at the, like I said, at the end of the school day when they come home. We'll try and get him to do that and see if that suggestion that I had seen if it how it works. So she, Andy has made the lunch for Nikki. So we're going to stick that in Nikki's um, inventory. And Nikki did do on the rambunctious scamp aspiration. She was playful. So I had her go up to the jungle gym upstairs, which is like the jungle gym is either the spaceship or the, the pirate ship. And we have a pirate ship on the top of our house as you do so and they play with it quite a lot they like and go they go over there and play it all the time play with it all the time so she has to you know continue so I tend to work on these all at the same time so she is on this artistic on the last tier of the artistic prodigy she has not started a mental motor like I said she's on the second and social we've done the first she needs to let's see where she is so she still has to get up and making a best friend and achieving level five of her social skill but for now, we i actually going to stick her back on to creativity because that's an easy one. The practicing typing for four hours, you don't actually need to be on that aspiration for it to tick. It'll just recognize that you've done it even if you're not actively on it. So we don't need to hang out on that other aspiration for her and she will be going to school. So, so she has her lunch and look there, she's going upstairs to play why don't you instead of going upstairs to play why don't you draw one of your paintings and since I do it alphabetically and I do it alphabetically because then I, since I know she's drawn three then hopefully I'm just not sure if she's drawn a monster we'll do that because monster often comes up at the end so we'll find out <laughs> um so sometimes I do it alphabetically, but monster at the end, but that's usually because monster's not available. I'd have to go back and look at the, the other videos or just, you know, play by ear is what we'll do. So I had them all brush their teeth because that's supposed to help them with their responsibility. And Andy, oh, you're cleaning. Oh, she got her manners up and that's, I, I had Arabella set the table primarily so that she could work on her manners, but that is something that's easy enough to do when they're teens too. And I'm still having her eat. Ice cream though I think she's actually already slimmed down quite a lot so I should check on I see that Sarah is awake so let me check her needs she's not so bad that it's overwhelming anything else but I think she needs to go to the potty so we're gonna have her go to the potty and then we will have her eat something and so Andy's actually a bit hungry too so she should just grab something from the fridge we will let her have some BLT made by the nanny who seems to be permanently <laughs> in residence. I think we have to ask her to leave if we don't want her here, but we may as well take advantage of her. It doesn't cost us anything because <laughs> we have the free services straight. So he has made his lunch. So can you uh, put in your inventory? And if, and this is probably spoiled, probably we should have you clean out. You don't need diet ice cream. You are really, really slim. <laughs> That's all I can say. He aged up that way. I can't seem to... So even though I see an ice cream cone in his inventory, I don't seem to be able to get rid of it. And I don't want him to eat because the reason he'll eat is... Um, what did he write in his journal? Oh, no, don't write in your journal. You're about to go to school. Uh, if he eats, then he would need a sack lunch. So, And it didn't matter because it was time for him to go to school. 
So really, oh, why are you sad? I see you're not sleeping. Did you have, oh, you didn't have a potty accident. You just have to go to the potty. Well, I have her drawing her shape, so we'll let her finish that before she goes to school. And she already has that sack lunch in her inventory so she can eat at school. If I'd realized the time, I might not have had her draw the shapes. The only reason I did that was because she was going off to play. And I thought she may as well do something more productive. Not that playing on the the pirate ship isn't productive because it would work on her her movement skill. Not her movement skill. Get the right age group right. Her, uh... I'm trying. Motor. Motor skill. Movement is when they're children. Is when they're toddlers. So, you, my dear, you're a bit hungry, though you're not really showing it, but I don't know when Dimitri's going to wake up. When is he getting his call for work? Work in two hours. Does he have the ability just to say... So, I don't know that the bonuses work. Let's see. Oh, now he got the call. So, I don't know whether it'll work because... So, he made money. And I'm having him work her home because I didn't have... Oh, that's actually pretty easy. Stream Let's Plays. It takes time, but Stream Let's Plays for four hours and Charity Stream. But he can do that at home really easily. So, those are actually easy, easy ones for him to do. So, that's really good. And you, Andrew, can do whatever. You, you need some food. Oh, he got a bonus. I didn't notice. I wasn't paying attention. I was looking at the other ones. So, we're going to put some of this out and let... Let Andrew grab a serving because he is hungry. And I can't drag the one out from the nanny because she created it. And it looks like it's going to spoil really soon anyways. Because even in the fridge, it's only showing 17 hours left. So, and I think I noticed that Sarah was getting a little hungry. So we'll get her to eat. There you go. It's starting to go yellow. And Arabella, she, where is she? Oh, she just must be going over there. Plunk for inspiration. So, I think... I did have MCC in here for a while. And I took it out with the last update. And I haven't put it back in. And one thing I liked about MCC, the MCC mod, is that you can turn off them constantly playing with the dollhouse. Hopefully they'll just fix that soon themselves. And not have to be something that you need to either cancel constantly. Or have a mod to stop it from happening. Because it's not like she's playing with anybody. She's just going and playing by herself with it. So I have Dimitri doing some food. And hopefully that will be excellent. I'm having him... It should be, because he is level 10, I was going to say. And I don't know that he's hungry. So I think... What I w I'm just trying to get them. It's, when you have all so many sims, it takes quite a while. So why don't you go do some work? That's what you should do since you are home. Why don't you first do the uh, live streaming for four hours? You can do Road Rival Alpha, I think is what it was called there. Oh, so Arabella has... She's very playful, but we don't need to worry about her. Because she will not... That doesn't seem to want me to pin that. So we're going to try... Oh, the pink bib. Nikki is sitting next to a new kid at lunch when she spies something pink in his lunch bag. Is it a bib? The kid smiles nervously and claims that he got his baby sister's lunch again. The bib falls out where everyone can see it. Pick it up or just ignore it. We'll ignore it. So, so she may have made a new friend. Okay, so what I would like to do, back to this, is we're going to go and talk to, try and do with Arabella the teaching to say, oh, we can encourage her recent, encourage her uh, winding down, playing to wind down, and then, or no, we did completing school projects, and now we'll encourage the winding down. And now what I want to do now is what I was always intending, teaching to say sorry. That's what we're going to do. Let's try that. I think she's going to spend her whole day in the PJs. Oops, there's the TV in the way. So are we going to do that? Okay, somehow that got cancelled. Let's try it again. Parenting. Teach to say sorry. Yay for conflict resolution. Good. Oh, they're both in their PJs. And did Era about, did Andy actually call? She is on vacation. Good. Excellent. 
So I think right now they're busy just doing those things and I'm going to have our little, what does she want to do? She wants to change clothes from her silly trait. So we can easily do that. We will say change outfit. May as well get you in some clothes instead of spending all day in your PJs. And then you want to play with the dollhouse? Well, you can do that. But for now, let us have you do sim shape so we can work on that. And Andrew, I don't know that the man nanny can teach any manners. I don't think you can. I think that has to be initiated from the parent. So he can do whatever he wants. So let's see how, if we notice anything with Arabella before I just say we'll be back. See, it looks like she's at the max. So yay, we can have a party for Arabella and Ager up to 18 because we have completed that part, the three things I wanted her to do while she was a child. So I will probably be back at the end of the school day when the rest are home from, from school so that we can then maybe have Dimitri get into full parent mode himself. It is the end of the school day. It's a little bit later and I've had Andy teaching Andrew manners and sorry, but doesn't seem to be doing anything. I don't know why it is, but I have Dimitri going and encouraging recent behavior with all the kids to try and see whether or not we can, you know, we're going to encourage good grades and encourage writing in journal and will Arabella will, will encourage writing in journal oh Mason's in the emotional control trait and when our little Nikki came home she is now an A student so she has done that and oh we went into full parent mode so do we have a mode here do we have something full parent mode for two e two hours and you do need to be level 10 to be in full parent mode I do know that so all the parenting you've done has caused the world to slow around you you feel nothing can sl slow you down so what full parent mode is supposed to do is it's supposed to slow down their need decay so his needs aren't really the greatest at the moment but it's supposed to slow down it going down and obviously it seems to be for two hours so I don't know at what point it did it but you know you did a whole bunch of things in a row that were quick and easy and it put them into full parent mode but let's see whether Andy can just get that well they're not doing any homework right now, so we'll work on that. But I'm going to just try and do some encouraging. Oh, discuss better eating habits. That's interesting. I've not noticed that. Oh, right, because that's he's in a phase for he's being a picky eater right now. But I haven't really noticed anything <laughs> specific with it. <laughs> I mean, that's why he's. But they always gravitate towards eating ice cream. What are you doing? You're talking to come over here and do that. And then can we, maybe only one of them can do the, yeah, okay, because she can't influence, she can't encourage recent behavior because I think, because Dimitri already did it. So that's all right. It's not like she really needs it. It was just, I was curious about it. I'm getting picky about the food I eat. You could call me to meals or encourage me to eat new foods, but I won't promise I'll like them. Oh, here we go. Someone's getting asked the best void critter. I got in a fight with someone at school about which void critter is more powerful. I say it's the Ar Arcticorn, but he keeps saying Suntor. Which one is it? So we've got three options. The Arcticorn, of course. Both are equally powerful and sorry, but it's the Suntor. So the first one raises emotional control, but lose it, loser lowers conflict resolution. The other one is conflict, raises conflict resolution and lowers emotional control. That was both are equally powerful and you can do empathy and conflict. Res I'm going to go for uh, both are equally powerful primarily because I want to raise, not that we need to, but I don't want to lower conflict resolution is more of the point. And emotion control is easy for them to get even easier as teens because they can go jog um, to clear mine which helps as well as writing in the journal so there we go so sure she, she couldn't increase her conflict resolution but the fact is we didn't reduce it which is what I was really really going for now the question is do we have time because at this point 
Arabella is old enough, or not old enough, she has done all of really that we really need to do as a child. She can work on her emotional control and her manners quite easily as a teen. And the other things, we can't do anything else. All we can do is try and keep them, you know, and responsibilities easy to continue to keep up as a teen. And all we can do is hope that we don't get anything to really knock the other two down when she is a teen. Because they're a lot easier. There are things you can do. So hopefully we'll be able to keep them there. So I think... I will, it actually isn't too late to have a birthday party. So I'm just sort of scrolling around and looking around. So I think we will have a birthday party, but I will ha do that and we will be back when the party is started. Well, it's got very late. I did have Dimitri make a cake. It took a few times because everybody was going for the fridge. And I think we don't have enough time in this part to actually have a birthday party. So I think we will do that in the next part. And I will also, uh, we'll keep, we'll keep Mason here for a little bit longer just to help with, uh, both of them need to help children with homework three times. I think, I'm not sure about Dimitri, but right now, Dimitri, I've switched him over to the painter extraordinaire aspiration. He had started to do this painting on his own autonomously. And I think this one might be for him also. And that was Dimitri did that. We really probably should sell some of these paintings, but I will have a street sale off camera so that you don't need to see that again. Because I think they have a few paintings piling up. Oh, yay, we got a masterpiece. No, don't have a bath. I prefer you to be inspired. And having a bath often doesn't. So we will have the birthday party for Arabella in the next part, which will be tomorrow. I will start up again tomorrow on Saturday in this part, and not in this part, but the next part, it will be Saturday. So I will have them play through the night and we'll start back up with the birthday party. But I currently have Arabella and Nikki playing some chess to work on Nikki's uh, whiz kid aspiration because she needs to play chess three times as well as be read to for two hours I guess being uh, read to as a toddler which I would have thought she was read to but perhaps she wasn't didn't count or else maybe she wasn't really read to who knows we will see the point is she needs to be read to so we I will just like I said get them through the night and in the next part we will have the birthday party for Arabella and we will have a teen and then probably in the following part we will have a birthday party for the twins i don't know that i want to do double birthdays i'll have to think about that because they are both ready to age up they have both maxed their toddler skills but that's it for this part thanks very much for watching and we will see you next time bye if you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them below. I'd love to see them. If you like the video, please leave a like. And if you'd like to see more, please subscribe if you haven't already done so. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks very much.